What's going on guys? It's Royce. I'm back with another video and I'm super happy to be back. And as you can see, I have returned from Michigan and I'm glad to be back. So guys, I'm back home. And if you haven't seen the other video of the travel vlog uh, about going to Detroit or Michigan, then you won't be understanding maybe some of this in the video. So please, I'm gonna link it in the description down below. Watch that first right now. Go down there and check it out if you haven't seen it already. And I explain a little bit about why I went to Michigan. But if you already know kind of what happened or you watched the video or whatever, then just follow along with this video. So anyways, what happened was I went to Michigan and I got really good feedback from uh, the coaches and everything uh, out there. And it was kind of like an emotional roller coaster because there were some things that were changing and I wasn't sure exactly what the situation was for a while and it was a little gray. And um, final decision, I'm getting invited to go back into preseason with them um, come the beginning of the year. And I'm not sure exactly when in the beginning of the year. I think it might be February is what I was told, so we'll see. Um, but I'll get the call around the beginning of the year as well. So um, I'm excited to work with them and, and see, you know, what all is going on in the future. And um, it'll be nice to be uh, a lot closer to home. Um, I say that even though it's still like, you know, 700 miles away, but it's closer than, you know, 4,000 miles away so um but i'm super blessed with this opportunity and i'm really appreciative of the agency that i'm working with and all the hard work that's going behind it and everybody that has taken initiative and really just taken action and helping me uh get where i need to go to be the player that i want to become and uh grow to grow so it's a lot of stuff going on you know and and it's really kind of like crazy because this opportunity really caught me off guard and then you know everything was like oh yeah like really moving quick because they told me like three or four days in advance hey can we get you out in detroit and i was like yeah cool. now let me kind of go into some insights about how the training went for me so we started off monday and monday was a little rough i'm not gonna lie and when i say it's a little rough i'm just talking really mediocre for me and i was just like ugh like it was bad um for me because that's not where my standards are at and so i was really kind of i wasn't super frustrated with myself because i understood that i haven't been in a team training environment for two and a half months or so so i'm not gonna be able to make the decisions as efficiently as i was before when i'm in and out of games every weekend so it's different when you take two and a half months off and then it's just like okay i gotta make in-game decisions now boom make it happen because it's totally different when we're training doing one-on-one -on -one stuff with me and my trainers or it's just me and so it's completely different when it's something like that and so it's just like okay like it's just kind of odd um but yeah so that was that um monday tuesday were rough and then the rest of the week was just fine for me and and so i was really happy with everything and how it went i think they saw that the first couple days were kind of uh, and then the last few days there were actually decent and so um i think they took into consideration that oh, okay well i haven't really been in a team training environment and i haven't been doing the same things that all the other guys are doing and so that's why i did struggle a little bit at the beginning of there but i quickly adapted and was able to make an impact on the coaches thus the opportunity of going back into preseason with them and training with them so they are looking to sign me, but i have not yet signed with them uh yet so hopefully you know everything works out and i would be really really thankful for this opportunity so um and the love for everything and i'm gonna be able to produce like different content for you and, and do like kind of an off-season series with you guys and for you guys to be able to follow me throughout the off-season so um now it looks like my off-season is gonna be in maybe february so we got until then to kind of make things work and i'm gonna utilize this time and you guys are gonna be able to see a lot of what i do i can post off the field stuff i can do gym workouts i can do what i'm doing on the field now that i mean away from the team sessions and stuff and be able to show you guys that if you guys want to check it out then that's 
if that's okay. So um, you guys just let me know what you want to see and I'll make it. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Also, let me know about this lighting because it's lighting. I got a new lighting set and um, uh, it's really great because before I was literally just carrying a lamp in here and then putting it, taping a piece of paper over it to get like some soft lighting in here. So now I've got like legitimate lighting. So I'm thankful for that too. <laughs> also, I'll be putting out a podcast and what I'm doing now, it's called 15 with Royce. And it's going to be kind of like a series that's also going to be out on this channel. And I'm just going to like put it on the channel. It's not going to be like an actual video. It's just going to be like the title screen and then voiceovers with me and whoever I'm with on the show. Um, so 15 with Royce is, I'm going to just kind of give you the concept real quick. So guys, I feel like podcasts are like super duper long. And so I wanted to make a shortened podcast and interact with players that I've met or worked with or that I know. And not even just players, it could be like coaches or different agents or whoever I'm like working with and just kind of give insights on the professional game. And um, yeah, I just want to be able to help other players. And also for you non-players, then it's kind of like, okay, well, I get to see insights on what this guy does and how these other people experience it and different things like that. So first episode is going to be with Mr. Ian Thomas, my boy from Sweden, and it's going to be coming out super soon. So stay tuned for that, guys, and I'm super excited for that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be coming up. So um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Enjoy your Christmas, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you.